Hello everyone, James here from Cobra Engineering. Today uh, I've been working on the engine block that's going to go in the company project car and I realized it's a good time to show you guys how we use the drill fixture. I know there's always a lot of simple little questions, but uh, I'll clear those up today I hope. So first thing, get your drill fixture out. Of course available at CobraEngineering.com. Two dowel pins, locate these two lower holes. Up here is the water pump hole. Actually, that's the timing cover hole, but you know what I meant. You can put two bolts out here. As you see, that's not going anywhere. I'm not too concerned about it. Grab a nice set of cheap calipers. I don't even keep good ones around my own garage. Measure that total overall depth to the hole is, that it is right now. I got 1573. Lock that in. And clearly I don't want to drill any deeper than that. I may get into passages you don't desire to get into. So I grab just a simple piece of tape. Put that on the drill bit. Measure out my approximate length. Again, this ain't rocket science. You got a little room to play with there. I'm not gonna. And this is just a visual. Take my drill. I'll run a little oil in that hole. You don't need to really for the drill, but it never hurts. Take a drill, chuck up the drill bit. Oh, oh slow. A little bit more just to be sure. Like that. Pull that off. Then we'll pull out this other bushing. You can just set that aside until we get to the tap. Now we're going to move over and we're going to have to remeasure again. Because this uh, boss is set down quite a far, quite a bit different. Not entirely necessary to put the set screw in here, but I don't like to get the bushing spinning. Same story again. Got 2050, 48 technically. I'll show you guys. I'm just gonna have to reset it. By doing this, there is a coolant passage on this side that, and some other passages that has potential to get in. So definitely don't skip this step. Get that marked good. Oh, almost forgot the oil again. Oh, my cheap drill isn't cutting her today. Cleaning them holes all good. You don't want a chip down in there blocking the tap or binding up the tap. That could make a real bad day. Then, guess I'm spoiled. I got a good chamfer bit, but a, even a larger drill bit. You see, just a nice, break that edge. Give it a little lead in for that tap, 
makes it always nice and clean. Drill fixture right back on. Now we'll install the tap. See, those don't need to be super tight. They're just holding it in place. I'll take my tap. The one you'll get is silver. This is just one I have that I use all the time. And I'll get down. If you're going to do a lot of cutting on aluminum in your shop, this is good. I recommend that. I have... I'm going to slowly start the tap. Put a little pressure down. Not a ton, but a little bit. Help it catch. You can tell when the threads start catching. I got this cheap uh, ratcheting tap handle at Harbor Freight. Works great for this. Runner in. If you feel any kind of resistance whatsoever, I don't. But if you do, back it up a little bit. Bring her out. Maybe even take it all the way out and clean it off and start over. Resistance is bad. Taps generally are brittle, they're not as strong as a drill bit. They won't give you as much warning before they break. It's one of the reasons I send you a straight flute tap. We do make tap removal tools that go down into flutes and you hopefully be able to get it out if something bad happened. You definitely want to run it all the way to the bottom of the hole. Get as much engagement as possible. That's pretty good right there. Let me just back that out. Blow off. Clean off the tap good. You don't want to start over on the new hole with any chips on there whatsoever. Now, you're going to pull that drill bushing out. Set that aside. Better yet, this is a 96 texted block, and we know that it's got a timing cover hole that's not lined up for the new Cobra, new Ur Cobra timing cover. So we're going to drill that hole next, so we'll just put it there. I'll move our tap over, tap pushing I should say. Bring our tap in again. New oil. No such thing as too much, just like you could imagine. Start her in for a little pressure. You can feel when it catches. Oh, thought it was. Let's just say the tap you're getting brand new will cut better than this. On here you can see down in the boss you'll be able to look. There's some room there. All the bushing is doing is keeping you nice and straight. It's going in pretty smooth for me. I haven't had to back it out at all. Don't be surprised if one hole is different than the other and you got to back it out a couple times or the other one went right in. Don't be a hero. Just like anything else, if you're in a hurry when you're tapping, you could have a real bad time. All set for the doll pins. What we'll do is come in. Pull this bushing out. And like always, clean everything up good. Now, we are going to run the extra. So I have a nine millimeter pin here. Notice I'm not locked in it in. This is not permanent. This block is going to the machine shop yet. There's this extra hole. You see on here we got X, X, 
X. Timing cover hole. Those are clearly marked. This hole goes over this pin. That goes in the exact same mounting hole that you used to drill the, hole, the previous two. Now this location is going to be the new hole for the timing cover. Unfortunately, I'm going to get a little oil in there. We don't have a set depth. We're going to use a little bit of judgment here. Oh, turn on high. I'm going to take a measurement here. Generally about two times the thread at least. I like a little more than that, but I know this bushing is three quarter of an inch. My hole is almost inch four hundred. So even though it's about three quarter, an M8 is about three fifteen. So that's approximately six thirty. I'm easily six thirty deep, so I'm okay with that. And I don't have an advertised depth for that. As you can imagine, every block's just a little different. At the end of the day, if you go through in any of these, just make sure to put a little thread sealer on the bolt that goes in there, and you should be fine. Same story as before. Clean that hole out good. every flute run that in now as many of you know there's going to be that extra hole there when you go to put your tiny cover in make sure to put a little silicone in there or whatever you're using to fill the gaps There's a good chance the rubber gasket's going to go right over that hole. There you go. Now you have a block tack for a Terminator cover. The only thing that I have to say that may be out of the norm is if you have the 8mm pin, Uh, you will have to eyeball and center that in that hole. Pull that off. Clean her out. And you can see how it's just a little bit off of that one. So there's a good chance that's going to be a problem. So you just get a little silicone on there and you'll be good to go. There you go. I got an aluminum block with upgraded dowel pins, much stronger than those small M6 ones that are in there. And uh, stay tuned for uh, further videos on working on this block.